Welcome to lesson two, let's set flexible business hours. Now I 100% recommend you set business or work hours. Um, they can be super flexible. They don't even have to be the same every week. Um, there's lots of variations. Um, and there are, there are a rare few things that I 100% recommend and think is the best for absolutely everybody. And this is one of them. So coming back to our introductory lesson, try it on for size, keep what works for you, let go of what doesn't. Um, we're gonna talk more about being flexible and adaptable with our business hours in module four. Um, but I absolutely recommend you set work hours. So if you don't have work hours or your work hours currently just don't feel like they fit or are in balance with the rest of your life, then we need to shift something and listening to this lesson will clear that up for you so you can see where you need to be shifting to. Even if work as you know it now isn't gonna fit in the hours you actually want to be working, but let's tackle that when we get to it. So I recommend work hours because first of all, it's intentional. It means that you are setting an intention and an expectation with yourself that this is when you are going to switch your mum brain off and you are going to focus and your energy is going to be directed out like a lighthouse, shining bright into your work and business and the impact you want to make. It is important to you. I know this is your passion work. This is your soul work. This is what you would be doing um, even if you didn't need the money, et cetera, that is, this is your sole work to be doing. So we want to be intentional about it and give it time and space in our week for us to work. And setting that expectation with ourselves is important, first of all, but it also means we're setting that expectation with our family and we're saying, this is important to me. This is a non-negotiable for me. I need time. I need to spend time, I need to experience time doing this thing to feel fulfilled, to feel in balance, to be the human that I am. And I think we all know that time doesn't just like magically appear like free time or just sitting down and not having anything to do. Um, we, we actually do get to that place when we go through a lot of what I'm teaching in this program. I've got to that place where I do actually sit down sometimes and go, mm, what do I do? I don't know. Still working that out. But generally speaking, where you're at right now, that is not a common thing. That doesn't happen on a daily basis or that doesn't happen for 10 to 20 hours a week to then just magically create space where you can go, oh, I don't have anything to do. I might sit down and work on my business. So we want to be intentional, but we also want it to fit into our life. And I have had this principle since I started my business that my lifestyle, my kids, my family would come first, my business would come second. Now, keep in mind what I talked about with balance in the previous lesson, because it is a win, win, win all around. But what it has done, and this is where people talk a lot about constraints being creative, like being allowing creativity to flourish. <clears throat> because if I hadn't put that in place, I would have tried to work a 40 hour work week, which I don't want to do, by the way. <laughs> um, because we've got all this old conditioning. If, if you can find 10 hours in a week for your business, that is enough. That is plenty of time to be able to create a absolutely thriving business. There are so many examples of people doing it like this, not just like further on down the line when they've got all this stuff established, but early on in business and super, super quickly. The actual number of hours you have to work on your business doesn't matter. Generally, I think you, my people, 10 to 20 hours is a, somewhere in that range is what we want what we want to be working. Also, the time that we have um, and can make in our week balanced with our kids, balanced with the life we're living. So come back to this lifestyle first. And whenever you're looking to set work hours, have a look at what your life looks like right now. Have a look at when are the kids in care or not. Okay, when are they at kindy? Um, 
I don't know, when, do, when are there um, classes that you want to take your toddler to? Like, when is gymnastics? When's the library's music time? Like, think about how you want your life to work first and then have a look at what pockets of time you have for business. Now, like I said, I started my business with this principle. And so I was working nap times for four years. It's officially finished because my two-year-old has now dropped his day sleep. So I am... I thought I'd graduated from the nap time hustle, but then coronavirus happened and the kids were home 24-7. <laughs> but now I have officially graduated because neither of my children take a day nap anymore. So I worked nap times a lot. And I had this point with my daughter because I started my business when my daughter was six months old. My mum would come and watch her one day a week. And I would come out and breastfeed whenever I needed. And otherwise, my mum would look after her. And I had this point where I was like, when is the right point for me, for her, for our family, to put her in care outside of our home? And I had absolutely committed that that decision would not be driven by me wanting more time for my business. It needed to be a balance of like that absolutely is a contributor like you can't say like as a person I needed more time for my business and as she dropped naps and she was never a long napper 40 minutes was pretty much her standard um like I needed more time more more of a break from mumming you know five days a week while my husband was at, the, at his day job like by myself I needed more time as a human how I spent that time was kind of a secondary thing but yes I was going to be spending it on my business um, and it was this question of her development as well of like what point was it really great for her development for her to be interacting with other children in a different way to have someone watching her that would do a lot of the activities that I was not able to maintain and didn't really want to do through the whole week I'm sure a lot of you can relate um, and this is where it becomes a win-win-win and a balance where you put your children's needs first you also get space but there's this tipping point where you're like yeah actually it's going to be great for her. It's going to be great for him. It's going to be great for them to be in care like this. And there are so many options, slightly less options right now in the world with coronavirus, but there are still a lot of options depending on where you're living and kind of, you know, the state of the COVID nation. But I have used so many different varieties of childcare. So I just want to, I don't want to go deeply into, okay, we're going to look at a schedule and you're going to set your business hours. That can be a piece of homework. But um, lifestyle first. Lifestyle first and balance. So have a look at how you want to live your life with the commitments you have right now. Choose again. Make sure that you every single thing that's happening in your, in your week, you are looking at it and you're saying, would I choose to do that again right now? Do I choose to have this in my life this week? Do I choose to have this in my life and you know generally commit to that for the next term or whatever the time frame is? Okay. And then have a look at what time is left. Generally, you'll be able to find 10 hours, um, possibly more. Then you can have a look and think, okay, how many hours do I want to be working? Like, what sort of time do you want to be working? And when I did this, I thought about projecting into the future when both kids are at school, for example. And so I know I have like, like what, nine till three, basically. And I'm like, okay, well, I wouldn't want to work flat out nine to three, five days a week. I want to be able to go to a Pilates class. I want to be able to go and have a massage. I want to be able to meet up with a friend for lunch. So I'm like, okay, so maybe I have, maybe I work four days and then I have like a whole day where I'm just like chilling out, doing my own thing. And then I'm like, okay, but like nine to three, six hours, math, right? Um, it's like, oh, I can't work. I know from myself, I can't work intensely for a six hour block of time. Like that's a lot. Um, you know, generally our brain with our circadian rhythms and things works really well for 90 to 90 minutes to two hours at a time with a short break or like a four hour chunk works really well. So I'm like, okay, well, what if I worked a four hour chunk four days a week? Like that sounds okay. That's sounding fun. So I'm getting to this place where I'm like, okay, that feels like it's in balance. That feels like it's fun and easy. That feels like it's got, I've got room for the other things I want to be doing in my life. 
So that's the exercise you want to go to think about how many hours do you want to be working? Suspend belief if you need to. Okay, suspend belief if you need to. But then think about like, if your life looks like X, how much time would you want to be working? And come up with that number. And I had this tipping point. Um, I'm pretty sure it was when we were like, maybe it was when we were in lockdown or coming out of, of lockdown for coronavirus, where I was like, I'm trying to find more time in my week to work when my actual dream week, I'm not working this much. So there's a mismatch here. There's some conditioning going on that is making me think I need to work more hours or that I want to work more hours. Like, what am I avoiding? What is this conditioning? What is this fear? What is this lack? What is going on? So that is what we have to dig into next. And I'm going to cover a few things that will be going on. But please, um, as always, come into the Productive Business Mums Facebook group. And if you are thinking, I only want to work 10 hours a week, but dot, 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 list out all the reasons. List out all the reasons that your brain is telling you it is not going to work. And I will absolutely come in and we will tackle those. Um, the group is going to be linked in the resources below too. So it's super easy for you to just click in and share. Um, so the things that start coming up is our work is not going to fit. <laughs> okay, we have more things we want to be doing. We need more time to do them. Like this is how our brain works, okay? We go, all right, but if I only work 10 hours a week, I'm not going to have time to do all these things. I'm not going to have time to build the business. I'm not going to have time to work with clients and create programs and be available on social and sharing out content. I'm not going to be able to do lots of podcast interviews. I'm not also going to be able to like, um, you know, do these education programs for my business. Like it won't all fit. There's a real practical like problem that we have right there. So the first thing is you can do everything, but you can't do it all at once. So the same thing that we did with wanting to work on your business versus wherever you are in your life applies within the boundaries of your business too. So if you want all of this stuff to have already happened, or you want to be six months further along than you already are, which I have felt so many times, remember to shift from the I can't wait to I'm hanging out for like lack impatience into excited anticipation. You can create your dream business. You can work 10 hours a week. You can do just the things you absolutely love to be doing. And you can create stupid, crazy, miraculous amounts of money. Okay. But we obviously need to kind of rework things. So here's a couple other things that will be going on in your brain. There's always more you can do. So I think I touched on this in a previous module where, yes, your to-do list might be a mile long. You might want to do all of these things for your business, but they don't all have to be done now. They don't even all have to be done for you to get results. You actually can work so much less and do so much less than you think. There are so many people and women out there in the entrepreneurial business online space right now doing so much less and earning so much more. It is mind blowing. So yes, there's always going to be more you can do. There's always going to be more you can do, but you don't need to do all of that at all. You don't have to do it all to get results. You don't have to do it all to hit the monthly income you want. You don't have to even do it all to hit $100,000 in a month. So then like, why are we doing it, <laughs> right? Why are we doing it? We can do it because we want to like inspire more people and impact more people for sure. We can get in front of more people, but we can totally, we can leverage our time. So yes, the business and all the things you're thinking about right now are not going to fit into 10 hours a week, but they don't have to. We need to completely like blow up that belief. <laughs> There's always going to be more than you, more you want to do, more you can do. You don't have to actually do all of that to get the results you desire, the impact you desire, the income you desire. And it also doesn't all have to happen now. It doesn't all have to happen in one week. It doesn't have to all happen in one month. So we can shift out of that lack mindset 
and that I'm not going to get my results because I can't do all the things and I have to do all the things to get the results. False, false. <laughs> to quote Amanda Francis, mm. those are lies straight from the devil. Straight from the devil, not true. Shift into excited anticipation. So right now, which is super relevant to this module, I'm delivering feminine productivity fundamentals. I've got a four week group coaching program that's gonna be kicking off in the next month or so. Super excited about it. Kind of want to be doing it right now, but instead I'm shifting into excited anticipation because there's some other things I want to do with productivity fundamentals. And yes, I want to talk about this group program in my social media and on my live streams and in all of my free content right now. I can do both those at the same time, but it's, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel in flow. It feels like it would be forcing it and pushing it to be trying to run that program and start running that program early. Then after that program, I'm going to be launching a membership that I've like known has was going to be part of my business for at least two years. And again, it could be really easy to be impatient about it. Instead, like you can probably see, I am just super freaking excited. So excited that I have actually been able to get to the point of these things will happen in the next three months. They just will. In three months' time, I will be at this place with a membership having delivered this group program with this productivity course going out to who knows how many people because it is so powerful. And those, I mean, just for your interest, <laughs> that group program and that membership, it's so, it goes so much deeper into this where we have a look at you want to work this much. What is your current business reality? What are the condition? What conditioning do you have? You know, what are all the things stopping you from making it fit? What do you need to do? How do you need to shift to get to that next level? That is the topic of all of those programs. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so shift into anticipated, ex excited anticipation. These things will come. They will come so much quicker than you think that they, they can. They can come really quickly, but they also can't all happen right this week. Right this week. There are some practical limitations here on our energy, on our time, on where we're at. So let me look at my notes. There's always more you can do, but you don't need to do it all. It is all those things do not have to happen for you to get results. You can do everything, but not all at once, not all in this hour, not all today, not all this week. So shift into excited anticipation for what's to come in your business, for all the things you're creating, all the people you're going to impact and all the income that's coming to you. And come back to the, knowing that this is Parkinson's law, right? Where work expands to fill the time available for its completion. So often, even if we created this like 40 hour work week for ourselves, we wouldn't be getting 40 hours of intense focused work done. So instead, why don't we do these chunks of two hours or four hours of super focused, high vibe, intensive work, and then call it a day instead of trying to keep working for another four hours. We're actually going to get 80% of what we would get done in eight hours done in the first four hours when we're focused, when we're intentional and when we're really, really in tune, like aligned with it. We know that we know this, we know this is true, this plays out in so much of our lives. But it does come back to no, it's not all going to fit. Even once you let go of, of these, you know, this conditioning, this stuff going on in your brain, it's not all necessarily going to fit. And you are going to need to change things about your business. Like I said, that's what the group program, that's what the membership is going to be all about. Um, and can help you do. So if this is something where you're like, I'm so on board, I'm committed to working 10 hours a week or whatever your number is, but I need to make it fit, then send me a message or something. These programs don't have like a thing yet. <laughs> so send me a message and I will let you know um, when these programs have like names and um, information and stuff. But that is what I will be doing. A, a lot of my work in my business is going to be about that. Because there are, it's a real practical problem where you have a business, it looks like this, it operates like this, it has this many client inquiries coming in, you have this many clients to serve, um, you have these programs you want to roll out, and again, just enough, however much is enough support structure, however much of a team your business, you desire for your business to be able to do what you want to do to impact how you want to impact. 
it's not all going to fit as just you working 10 hours necessarily. That model could actually work for a lot of people. But the likelihood is that it, it won't always fit or it might not fit for very long. So we don't compromise, funnily enough. We want to find the balance. And that means we allow ourselves to work 10 hours doing the things that we can absolutely rock at. And we allow ourselves to be supported. And it is only by creating this container, by creating this constraint of I only want to work this many hours a week, do we then open up the limitless possibility for us to be supported, to simplify our business, to break through a lot of this mindset stuff that we don't actually need to be doing all these things to get the results that we're already getting. We don't even need to be doing a lot of this stuff to leverage into the next level to get the next level results. We can streamline what we're doing so that it doesn't take much thought and therefore it doesn't take much energy at all. And then in fact, someone else can do it. We can automate and put like software systems in place to do things for us, to support us, to support our clients so that we can both have a beautiful, beautiful experience working together and delivering our programs and consuming the programs. And we can be supported by a team. We can outsource to other humans which isn't that beautiful to be able to actually like pay other people and support other people and contribute to their beautiful dream lives. And we can allow ourselves to be supported in a way that means that we can actually have a bigger impact because they do things differently and better than we do the things we want them to do because we don't want to be doing them. We need to be doing our zone of genius. They can do their zone of genius and together you can make magic. So no, it's not all going to fit, but that doesn't mean you have to compromise. You are finding balance. You are creating a dream business, which runs on X hours, which has a certain amount of support, whether it's people or software programs or, you know, just the structure, the simplified real core structure of a business. You can be supported by all those things to do the things you love in the time you want to be working so that it is in balance with the lifestyle that you want to live. And that is how you can set beautiful work boundaries. They can also be flexible. So module four is gonna be all about being flexible and adaptable. Um, so just know that when it comes to setting work hours, they're not set in stone. They are a guide, they are an intention, but we always, always want to come back to finding our flow and being in balance. And that will look different week by week, day by day. All right, I will see you in the next lesson.